What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to sync text, calls, and voicemails across screens on Google Fi. Now this serves as an update to messages for web since you don't have to rescan QR codes if you want to text from your computer. Now this is going to be a very useful feature if you want to text or make calls from another screen but you left your phone on the other side of the room or it's off. And this is another reason why I love Google Fi. Syncing has been working great for me between my Pixel 5 and my Google Pixel Book Go. Now I don't know Apple all that well, but it seems they've had a system like this where you can text flawlessly between your phone and your computer. And this is something that's been missing on Android for a while now. But with this update, it makes this whole system very much like that. And it works really well. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Cracked. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find a more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Cracked as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. First, we'll start by opening the Messages app. Now, you'll want to make sure that you're on the main screen of the app, so it should look something like this. This would be where all your conversations would be. Now, in the top right-hand corner, we're going to have three dots, and we're going to tap on that. Now, this opens up a drop-down menu with a list of options, and we're going to look for settings, and then we're going to tap on that. Now, as you can see, this opens up a new window, again, with a list of more options, and we're going to look for advanced, and then tap on that as well. And this opens yet another window with a list of more options, and we're going to look for Google Fi settings, and we're going to tap on that as well. Here we have a new page titled Google Fi, and there really isn't much going on here. You can see that we just have the option to sign into your Google Fi account. Now, before we get to the screen that you see here, a pop-up window would appear allowing you to select your Google account. Now, once your Google account is selected, it brings you to the page that you see here. Now, this page that you see here is a more detailed explanation of what's going on. So just to read it out for those who may be listening to the podcast, it says here, sync your conversations to enjoy text, calls, and voicemail on the web. So in a way, this isn't something entirely new. You've actually been able to text from your computer using messages for web but this further enhances that experience. So the first point here is your conversation stays synced across screens. And that's important because you don't have to rescan a QR code from your computer using your phone. And I've always found that an inconvenience. And then the next point here is to text or call on the web while your phone is off. So this is nice, again, if your phone is off or if you're like me and you've left it on the other side of the room and you wanna be able to text or call someone flawlessly. And then the last point here is messages stores your conversation securely on Google servers. And that hopefully just gives you a little bit more peace of mind. So at the bottom here, we have the option to sync conversation. So we're going to tap on that. Now syncing can take anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes, depending on if this is your first time completing the process. Now once syncing is complete, the page shows sync complete in green text. Now once complete, your text, calls, and voicemail should be synced across your screens. Now to try this out, simply go to messages.google.com. So have you tried this yourself? Let us know in the comments below. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.